Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is keeping really, really well. Now, today we're very excited because we're going to be sowing some amazing epiphyllum seeds that were gifted to us from a very, very generous friend here in Ireland called John. Now, John contacted me probably a few, a few months ago now. He lives here in Ireland and on the, the west coast of Ireland in uh, County Mayo. And he said, uh, Lynn, I grow a lot, lot of epiphyllums. He has an amazing jungle room with the most incredible epiphyllum cacti. And he said he's got a lot of seeds that um, he has left over from his own plants. And with every time he, he has all his plants flower and everything and the seeds, he has a database that he keeps so he knows, knows them all, has them all named and numbered. And he said, I've got some spare seeds. Would you and Hans like some? And those of you who know me and Hans love our epiphyllums. We have quite a few in our collection. They do very well for us here. We, we keep the majority of them outside in the polytunnel to overwinter and they do very well. Bloom absolutely gorgeous every year for us. So we were like, yeah, we would love some seeds. So John, thank you so much. And John also, as I say, he's, he's here in Ireland on the west coast of Ireland. And because me and Hans often go down to the Dublin Cactus Society, as well as the one here in Belfast in Northern Ireland, he wanted to, we, we arranged to meet up with John. It was going to be probably the April um, Cactus Society in Dublin, but obviously because of all what's happening now in the world, it's everything is, is sort of off at the moment. But hopefully when that clears, we're going to be looking forward to meeting John in person at the Dublin uh, Cactus and Sugglers Society branch meeting in the future. So John, thank you so much for these amazing seeds. And I'm gonna just gonna what we're gonna do in this video is actually sow the seeds and then do updates on them when they germinate. But we just want to show you first, rather than show the whole procedure of sowing all the seeds and everything like that, we want to show you what John has sent, what type of seeds, and also gonna show you what they're like then when we've got them all sown. Now these are the seeds here. And first of all, this one was gifted to us from our friend Alex. Um, in from Philadelphia and we've, we've got another video coming up showing you all of the seeds Alex has sent us but because he sent us one of these epiphyllums we're going to sow them with John's seeds so all the epiphyllums are together so this is actually from Alex <laughs> so thank you Alex if you're watching this that's epiphyllum guatemalense uh, variety monstros but we're going to sow these with all the ones John sent now John has sent 13 different types of epiphyllum seeds all from his own plant all plants so they're all from his own plants and as I say they're all numbered he has them all on the database so a mixture of 13 different varieties all that we wouldn't have got so this is going to be very exciting now we, we have sown and we've pollinated epiphyllum seeds um, quite a few times in the past and we've got quite a lot of seedlings also at the moment that we've got from our own plants but never got them from anyone else's plants so it's going to be very excited to very exciting to sow these seeds and let's say 13 different types and we've, what we've done here is got each one little label there and we've got two seed trays that we're going to be putting because there's going to be 14 seeds all together 13 from 13 different packs of seeds from John and one pack from Alex we're going to be sowing um, the 14 different types of epiphyllums into two different types of seed two two seed trays sorry of, pa of seven and seven and um, we're going to then stick the little labels on so when they do germinate we'll know what they are obviously and I have made many, many videos of when we, we grow cacti from seed. And I normally use the baggy method, which is actually grow it, sterilise in the soil, put them into little baggies, then after three months taking them out. But because we have got a lot of epiphyllum seeds, it's just more practical on this occasion to actually put them in the seed trays. And then we're going to be covering them with clear perspex um, to keep the humidity in and then monitor, monitoring them how they go on over the next few weeks and months. And we're gonna be, they're gonna be going into a south facing window, well, away from the direct sunshine, obviously, because they're epiphyllum and there's gonna be seedlings, but they're gonna be in a sunny window away from direct sun, but we're also gonna have a grow light on as well. So it's a bit of extra few hours on cloudy days and in between the morning and the evening to extend it. So they can help them a little bit more on the germination. So as I say, if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed, you've never done it before, and you want to know the baggy method, then do check a video I've made already on how to grow cactus from seed. Links 
up above and you can grow epiphyllum in exactly the same way as i say we're not doing the bagging method on this occasion because we've got a lot of seeds and it's just easier to put them all into the seed tray and before i go any further i want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance hans who is behind the camera filming me today so um, do go over and give him a big thumbs up and subscribe to his amazing youtube channel family of Caxi and other beauties links up above and don't forget to subscribe to me too so so thank you john for these amazing seeds and we're looking forward to, to meeting you in the very near future so it's a big thank you so much a lovely lovely very generous of you to gift you gift all these amazing seeds from your epiphyllums and now guys what we're going to be doing because it will be a long video otherwise we've showed you all the packs of seed then we're going to show you what they're like when they've all been sown and uh, that's what we're going to get we're going to get the soil we're going to be using a um a, a gritty seed sowing loam based soil by john innes which is especially for seed sowing so it's low nutrients i'm going to be adding extra sand in there as well for drainage so that's very important when you're sowing seeds so there we go then guys and if you also i know this is going too many of these links if you want to know how to grow epiphyllum and care for for epiphyllum whether the big adult ones then do check a video i've made on how to care for and grow epiphyllum links up above and also put the links down below in the video description and at the end of this video too so here we go these are all the seeds 14 different types and now we're going to show you what it's like when we've sown them all now there's the two uh, seed trays full of uh, seed sowing compost there and uh, we're just watering the soil before we put the seeds in because obviously if you put the seeds in and then water the seeds can sort of all mix up with each other so we're making sure this is all thoroughly soaked with uh, water first now what we're doing here Hans is uh, he's brilliant we've exactly measured with the tape measure the exact space uh, between and we're partition, partitioning all of the sections off so when we sow the seeds they're not going to get mixed up with each other <laughs> because otherwise if we just sowed them all in the same tray and just took the labels in there when when we have to water again it's easy to get them all mixed but this is just a good little tip just to partition them all off there you go that's them all partitioned off we've used pink and we've used yellow <laughs> so now it's just a case of um, sowing the seeds and then sticking the labels going down and uh, very exciting to do now now guys here we go here's the seeds and i'll put the little label in first and i'm going to just gonna show you the first one then we'll show you when it's all done usually if the cactus seeds were very very fine i'd probably use a folded piece of card and sprinkle sprinkle them on that way but because these are quite large i can actually just sprinkle them on sort of spacing them all apart you want to make sure that when you do sow seeds that you do give them plenty of space because once they do germinate they are going to grow quite uh, all on top of each other if you put them too too close together so i'm just sort of spacing them all out all on there and also just want to mention as well always make sure you use clean hands wash your hands before and um because otherwise if you have dirty hands and you go spread seeds, you can spread uh, bacteria and things like that onto the seeds. Now guys, that's all the seeds sown. Very exciting. And what I'm going to be doing now, before I put the covers on them, I'm just going to give them another spray. I know we thoroughly soak the soil with water first. But by spraying it then over the seeds carefully, it's going to then get the seeds in direct contact with the soil rather than cover them sometimes you can cover seeds with sand and things like that but we're not in this case we're just going to give them a good soak in it's going to press them in so um just like this obviously you don't want to be going with the watering can again you can knock the seeds off so this is just to give them all a good soak in so they get into really good contact all with the soil There we go guys, that's it all done and we've got it here in, in our, my little grow room which is also my office and gonna be, it's going to be under the lights, it has natural light coming in as well and then we're going to have the extra grow lights on on the cloudy days and also in the mornings and the evening, get a bit more of an extra day length and it's very warm here in my office, it's a minimum of about 70 degrees Fahrenheit so that's going to help with the germination as well and I decided obviously we've got the cover on now and the little labels I've turned to the side so we've got, we can put the cover down 
and that's pretty much it. I shouldn't have to really water these that much because the cover's going to keep it keep the condensation in there. But we can easily clip clip these off the little clips if we need to give them a bit of a water. So um, uh, stay tuned for the future when uh, they germinate, and uh, we'll do an update in the coming weeks, I should say, because cactus seeds can take anything from a few days to a few weeks to even months to germinate. And then as I say, if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed, do check out that video I've made and I mentioned about the baggy method. And I haven't done the baggy method in this case, obviously, because we have a lot of a lot of seeds to sow, so it's easier like this. So this is going to be very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed it. And also, guys, if you want to know how to grow cacti sowers, if you're new to the hobby, please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. And thank you, John, for these amazing epiphyllum seeds.